ready? Welcome to Down, Down to Earth Mama. Mama. Stay tuned. Hey everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to Down to Earth Mama. I'm Crystal. So today I'm going to be making a version of the like chickpea omelet stuff. Now I haven't done this before, but it's like chickpea flour. But I couldn't find chickpea flour, so I got corn flour instead. So I'm going to try that. So it's going to be a corn flour yeah. omelet with vegetables. So what I'm going to do first, I am going to saute up my veggies. So I have a bell pepper, uh, mushrooms, and onions. And I'm going to saute them in this because I don't use oil. So, let's get started. Okay, so this is the flour that I got. And I already put a cup of it in here, so there's one cup of the uh, corn flour. Corlin has decided she now wants to help. So, into the bowl. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What is this? It's flour. So, into the bowl. Let's get the little one. We're going to do half teaspoon. So, half teaspoon. So, we're going to need a half teaspoon of garlic powder. Go ahead. No, can you put it down? Okay, put it like this on the side. Can you get it in there? There you go. Shake it off, shake it off. There you go. Now put, so put it in there. Okay, now we're going to do a half teaspoon of onion powder. Okay, can you get it in there? Oh, shake it around, shake it around. Alright, go ahead. We're going to do a half teaspoon of ground turmeric for that yellow color. Oh, I can get it in there. There's not much left. Mommy's gonna get some more here. Ah, hold on, let me here. Let me get it. Hold on, hold on, sweetie. Ah, I dropped some now. Alright, there. Now go ahead and stick that in for me. Ooh, yellow, kind of. Mm hmm Okay, why and pepper? Let's do three three tablespoons in each. Or half tablespoons. One. They're a little full too. Two, awesome, and three. That's good, awesome. And okay. yep, can you go ahead and and crack some in there? Go ahead, go ahead and twist it for me. You top? Yep, twist it like that, just like that. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Yep, a little more, couple more twists, and we're good. Awesome, fantastic. Can you stir it around for me with that spoon? I need a bigger spoon. Yeah, let's do a bigger spoon. Here. Can you s s yep. Stir it around. Stir, 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 stir. Okay. I'm right. not done. Now, okay. Awesome. Good job. Now I'm going to put in a little bit of water and then you have to stir it around again. Okay. Okay, now try. I guess we have to make it kind of like a battery cons like a bat like a batter consistency. Why are we doing it? Why are we making? Mommy's gonna make chickpea omelet or corn flour omelet. This is sticky. Well it's yeah, is it sticky? It's We're trying to make a batter. Oops. Okay, let me put some more water. No, I okay, I need some more water. Hold on. You need some more water. Smells bad. Smells bad. Uh-huh. Alright. Alright, let me see. Okay. So I just keep putting water into it until it came to like a pancake consistency. So, so this is what it looks like. And oh, I'm gonna saute some spinach down and I'm going to saute some spinach down into the veggies, and then I'm going to pop all this into, because um, I think there's an awful lot here, I'm going to put it into um, my cupcake pan and see how that goes. You going to help me do that? Okay, so I cut up some tomatoes, and I'm going to put the tomatoes in the bottom of some of these pans. These are funny tomatoes. The seeds started to sprout. 
I guess I like tomato sprouts. <laughs> tomato seed sprouts. I'm just gonna put some of the tomatoes in the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of these and then I can eat like little, little cakes. We'll see. Hopefully I have enough for all this. Each one. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on here. Ooh. You like it like this? All right. So I ran out, and I'm gonna try some of this with just the plain flour because I saw it too with just plain. So I'm gonna try that. I made a little bit more liquidy. Can I bet this on? Nope. Can you help sp spread that stuff around? I don't have my spoon. It's right there. That is different. No, you can still spread it around. I got this one. Hmm. Ah, what a mess. I don't know how much faith I have in this, but let's pop it in the oven and give it a whirl. Okay, so I put them in the oven for 400 degrees for 30 minutes, and let's see how they turn out. So here they are in the pan. I'm going to try one of each kind. Oh, I think I might have should have made them a little bit more on the water down side, because they don't look like they... Uh, went all the way down to the bottom. So let me try one of the ones that are not spiced. Ooh. Like little, I don't know what they, what you would call them. Like little frittatas or something? Not quite sure. Alright. Ooh, they look very hot. Maybe if I would have made the batter a little bit more liquidy consistency, and it would have gone all the way down and made like a more compact cupcake style thing, but let me give it a try. Alright, let's see. They look cooked all the way through, so that's good. Hmm. Daddy. Okay. That one's pretty good with the nooch and everything. Let's try this one. So this one's just the flour. I'm such a big bite. I'm sorry. Mommy. Mm. <coughs> it's hot. <coughs> oh. Mommy, look like behind you. That one's good too. So the one without all the spices and everything kind of has more of like a that big eggy <coughs> flavor. And then this one has, has like a more cheesy one, so it's good. I like them both, actually. I want to try them with ketchup. When I'm done. If I'm waiting for Well, you're going to wait a little bit more. Be patient, my dear. Be patient. Would you like to try one of these? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. All right, with ketchup now. I don't like them. You've never tried them. Mm. I don't like them. Okay. And catch up there good. Mm. Where's my cup? I'd like to try them with the chickpea flour if I can Where's ever find cup? it. I don't know where your cup is. My mm. Okay. Cup. Oh, good. I don't know if they're like little frittatas or quiches or what, but I really like that. I'm gonna make these more often. And I'm gonna put these into a container and save them. I can eat them throughout the week. These are actually really delicious. I really, really am enjoying it. Okay. Well, let me know down in the comments if you've ever made anything like this or if you have a recipe that um, works better than the one I did. Let me know. Um, yeah, down in those little comments. All right. I will see you next time. Peace out. 
Thank you so much for watching the Down to Earth Mama. Please subscribe uh, to our channel for updates on all our latest videos. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it or found it useful. Leave any questions or comments that you have down below. Things you like, things you didn't like, and things you'd like to see in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.